Hello, Battlefoam fans! We have had numerous amounts of people that have written and have had questions about the awesome Space Hulk trades that we're doing. And the problem that seems to be unanimous is people cannot figure out how to put all this great stuff inside of this, which then goes inside your box with a lid over it. So, fact is, it will all fit. I'm about to show you guys how. Pretty simple. Again, everything takes patience. Now, we were given, obviously, some parameters by GW to work with, so we don't have a lot of room to play with here. We have actually a limited amount of space due to the box size, and in turn for that, we had to basically build a tray that had a little bit of structural integrity. That's why we put this in the middle, so the tray could actually have a little more uh, give and take on it, but that also affected how we can lay everything out. So, again little practice, you will figure this out. It's not hard. It's actually very, very easy to do. The thing you have to keep in mind is you have a ton of little pieces here. It's going to take you about five minutes after every game to wrap it all back up. Now, what you'll need to do is you're going to have to put like items together. So, for instance, you have your large tiles. Put them together in a stack like this. Okay? All the pieces are obviously represented here. We didn't take any pieces out. We didn't put any pieces in. So, if you combine two sets and take them all into at one time, those two sets are actually not going to fit, so keep that in mind. If you remove pieces, well, you'll have an easier amount of time, uh, you don't move anything with you, but we're showing you with the exact contents that come inside the box how it will fit inside of our two trays. Now, once again, you're going to combine everything that are like items together. For instance, you're going to have some pieces that are kind of like items, but they will go together. So you want to keep all those in a nice little stack. You obviously have all of the doors, put those together. You have all of your pips that are going to be for your bonds. Put those together. So what you do here is, and this will take a little practice. It'll take you once or twice to do it to get it right. But the fact is that you want to make sure when you first start out that everything's grouped in a nice way. You can copy exactly what I'm doing here to fit your stuff, or you can come up with your own pattern. The point is, keep like items together. It is the cleanest way to put everything back in the box. So let me show you how to do it. Again, this is the tray everybody's been getting. Let's start with the big box. You're going to take those, and you're going to put them in the right-hand corner here. So, showing you this, you're going to tuck them in the right-hand corner, you know, nice and tight. And you'll notice everything's nice and flush with the tray. You don't want to have things sticking out like this. That's too high. It's going to affect where your top tray fits, and it's going to affect how far down your actual items will close when you put your lid over it. So, you have everything there. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your next batch, like this. Again, keep them all like items together. You're going to put them up here in the top right hand corner. And you might have to wiggle them a little bit to get them to fit. And keep in mind, that's okay. You know, it's going to be something that uh, will take a little practice. Again, like items together, the same height as your, your uh, phone, which is actually an inch and a half. So we got all those in there. Now we're going to take these guys. These are all your doors. and put those right here. Take your next doors. Put those right here. Actually, we can turn these sideways. Make them fit even tighter. There we go. You're going to take these pips, well, these, uh, these are actually all of your, uh, oh, all of your uh, force stuff. So you're going to put those in there, tuck those right here to the left. So as you notice, you're going to start visualizing a picture of how this works out. And as you do this once or twice, you're always going to remember, well, that goes there, my doors go here, my big blocks go there, and it all makes sense. It just takes a little practice. Just don't get frustrated because, you know, it really is kind of like a big puzzle piece. Uh, when you first start out, and that's because these are basically big puzzle pieces. So, if you're noticing, I'm keeping everything grouped together in nice, tight groups. Now, you will have one block that fits over here that you're going to put on this side. Okay, so that's one thing you got to keep an eye on. It doesn't matter which one it is. You can use any one of them. Then you're going to stick this guy in there. These are your longer corridor pieces. And make room, you know, bunch everything up, push them towards the edges, because you're going to need the extra space in a minute, and I'll show you for what. Uh, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to put this guy over here. Take your flame templates, put those over here. Take your gaunt arrows, or your jeans to arrows. Just kind of tuck them in there, and they don't have to be perfect. You know, you can kind of just throw them around. They're all going to move around anyway when you pick up the box, so it's not really that relevant. If they're all stacked up, obviously, if you're a super neat freak, you can do that. But if you're noticing something, our pile is getting a lot smaller, and we have plenty of room. So keep that in mind. And if anybody wants to check what I got here, feel free to do the research. Count all my pips. Count all my boards. 
and then use those for, you know, hey, Romeo's not lying to us. He really did put all the pieces back where he needed to go. Uh, you have your Blood Angel markers. And again, I cannot stress enough, like items together. Do not just take these things and dump them in here and think, hey, it's going to all fit. It's not going to fit. You have a ton of goodies in here. And if you mix them all up and you put them with, you know, the door with the pip, with that, with this, it's just going to be a big fat mess. You don't want that. Now, this lovely guy is actually going to fit right here. I leave it in the bag just to protect it a little bit. The dice have a perfect little home right there. These guys can actually get put anywhere you have a spot. I mean, you can look around. You, can, you got little areas here. You got little areas there. And that's okay. I mean, think about it. When you pull these pieces out, you're just going to group them together in a big pile anyway. You just want to make sure that they go somewhere here so you're not stuck with, you know, a bunch of pieces at home in your kitchen instead of at your store playing or wherever you're going to play. Now, these guys are literally going to get sprinkled on like, like you know, things on a pizza. You're going to put and put them in spots that you have space. And all these will fit anywhere you want. doesn't matter. They're not going to get broken. They're hard plastic. They're going to fit fine. If you want to take your time and arrange them so they're nice and flat, you can do that. It doesn't make a difference. It won't hurt anything. And you have a ton of open little areas all over the board that you can put your stuff in and not worry about it. You can stick it between tiles like I have. And what did we do here? We put everything we needed where it needed to go. Now, you look around and you'll see the height of everything. So, if you have a spot that's a little higher, just move it over. Sometimes you know you get them off a little bit or get them wrong. You can move them around. But everything right now fits in here perfectly. Now, the rule books, people are like, we're not going to rule books. Well, actually, just put that over like that. Stack those like that. And you'll notice it fits perfectly in there. You take our box. And, you, sh you know, the thing to do is actually put this inside of here when you do it. But for demonstration purposes, I had to take it out. So now we have everything inside the box. We drop this guy over it. And you have a completed top section of the thing. Now, you will notice that, and again, mind you, we did our very best with this. But GW is what it is. We have a box to work with. We can fit them as best as we can. You have a quarter inch. Your box is always going to be a quarter inch higher at the bottom than it was its original time, right? So keep that in mind. When you have a quarter inch, this does give a little. So when you put your lid on, you're not hurting anything. You have your rule book down there. You have everything you need covering it so you're perfectly safe. Plus, your phone gives a little bit, and you'll be able to put your lid over it and be closed up and ready to go, and then all of your models travel with ease. So, as long as you guys follow this tutorial and do everything the way we just showed you, or come up with your own system that's similar, you should have no problem fitting all the space all trays inside. And for the guys that don't believe me, I just did it. So stop emailing telling me you don't believe me, because I did it. All right, and stay tuned. We have a, a Jane was actually going to be our new news person. She's going to film her first video tomorrow. Uh, she'll tell you about some awesome stuff we have coming out this week. Uh, and also some new trays that are on the website already. Some great stuff for War Machine and Hordes for the people that are into that. Uh, and we have some really exciting news for some new bags that are coming out. So we'll tell you about that. Jamie is going to take hold of that the situation. And if you have any questions, any concerns, or any advice, please email us at info at battlefilm.com. Or you can always email me at romeo at battlefilm.com with any questions or concerns. Thank you guys for the support on the Battlefilm trays. We love you. We'll see you next time.